Uh, my name is Anthony Garofolo. I write for a small gaming blog called barefink.com. I've been doing it about eight months. Very cool. So with this blog, do you write mostly about indie video games or AAA games or all uh, the above? For the news aspect, uh, we do cover both. More reviews, I like to stick to the more indie stuff, just because that's my preferred game of choice. So that's somewhere I focus on also coming here another thing. So there's a lot of good stuff upstairs. Very cool. Do you focus on indies in kind of the Boston area a lot or everywhere? Like do you have a preferred spot of, I guess do you focus on indies in one area or do you just kind of... Like genre wise? Or are you talking about just for video games? For like geography. Like do you cover a lot of Boston indie game devs or... Oh, all over. I, I just look over? for, like search the internet, surf like, uh, there's a really good site, GameJolt.com, okay. where it's like even like the lowest tier of indie where people are just putting their stuff from Unity, Flash, whatever, just right on the web. You just jump in and do that. But for the more like the Steam marketplaces where I usually get it. So I don't tend to focus on a location, just games in general. You did mention about genres. Is there a preferred genre you like reviewing, or you review really anything? Really anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good to mix it up. You start to get like genre fatigue if you're always playing a platform or yeah, something like definitely. that. And then you start, if you're doing like reviews in the room, then you start, you might start getting it to bleed together and stuff like that. So how do you think the Boston Festival of Need Games helps out game devs in this area? In this area, I think it, it just helps everybody, even if they're not uh, in that quote unquote gamer uh, realm, they come here, check it out grab a car, go online, maybe that'll be the barrier to entry for them to actually go and seek out the game and buy the game. Have you seen anything here that you're really, like, really are interested in or you really want to write about or review? Anything really stick out to you? Oh, it was really cool? Yeah, so um, Soda Drinker Pro, that came out a while ago um, and now they're going to Xbox One and what I didn't know before that I know now is they have uh, Vivian Clark, which was actually a game that was hidden within Soda Drinker Pro, and that game was really good. I'm excited to get my hands on that and try it out. So I'm playing it there. It's, it's real off kilter, a little bit different, and the art is really, really nice. Very cool. And Moon Hunters, which I was kind of disappointed because they don't have a playable demo, it's just a video. I see. Do so you have like a personal Twitter or a Facebook or yeah. a website people can follow you? Uh, www.bearfink.com and then uh, if you click on my profile that'll bring up all the articles I've published and then also uh, any other social media connections as well. So you said you've been writing for the blog for about eight months you said? Uh, no, in general. So I'm in the military. Okay. I've been in for nine and a half years so before I joined the military I wrote a lot and then I kind of set it aside when I was getting acquainted and everything, but now I'm on short duty, which gives me a lot more free time, so now I can actually get back into it. And instead of just writing just on everything, I kind of focus it with my love of video games as well, and kind of just let them join. Right now, I'm just testing out the water, seeing what I can do with that. Very cool. Are there any other particular moments for the festival that really stick out to you? Is something really cool or anything I'm just excited like? to see the, the figures. Yeah, it's yeah. coming up soon, so that'll be cool. Is there anyone you want to really win a figgy, or anyone you're really rooting for? No. No? Alright, cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, and you enjoy the rest of your festival. You too. Thank you.